Test for absolute convergence first. This is like determining the answer to the question, does the student have a 4.0? If it's yes, then you're done. You can say the sum of a n converges absolutely. If it's a no, then you have to check, does the series converge conditionally? Meaning, does the student have an a in math? That's the second question you'd have to get answered. You always will use AST to check for conditional convergence. If you get yes, you're done. You say your series converges conditionally. If AST fails, then you still need to show that the sum of AN diverges using the test for divergence. Sometimes, okay, there are exceptions to this little flowchart. If you can spot that this is going to happen, you can just detour straight here. I'll, I'll do an example where I do that for you, okay? And then, like I said, if you get a no using the ratio or root test, then you're done. You don't do AST to check for conditional convergence. Ratio and root 